Hello, I'm making a tutorial for rendering to a texture in Blender because someone asked me to. Don't have screen capture software, so you have to see the screen from a camcorder. So what I have here is a simple scene. There's a camera in here, and it's pointing at this object. And the camera is going to render what it sees onto this plane down here. So I'll play it, and you can see, there it is. If I move the object around, you can tell that the camera is rendering in real time. So you can use this for a lot of different things, weapon scopes, security cameras, all sorts of cool things in games. So let me show you how to make it. Alright, so first I'm going to set everything up. What we really need is a camera. We need a plane that will have what the camera sees rendered onto it. It can be really anything, just a, a plane is the easiest. You, know, you can render it onto all six sides of a cube. You can render it however you want. And I'm going to add an object to see through the camera so we can make sure it's working. And a light so we can see what we're doing. Now you also need the um, render to texture Python script, which is here. I'll post that somewhere. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into a new script called render to texture.py. Lastly, you're going to need an image. This is the image that the camera renders onto. I have it here. It's literally just a blank white image. I mean, everything that's in there is going to be overwritten by the camera, so it doesn't matter what's in it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the plane to uh, get the material onto it. So I'm going to go in and add a new material, which I'm going to call screen. And I'm going to make it shadeless just because it's easier to see. I don't think that's necessary. Um, and then it needs a material or a texture on that material, which I'm also going to call screen. And this is going to be the image that I showed you before. So I'm going to open open it up and I'm going to set it to UV coordinates. The coordinates don't really matter, I just like you using UV. Obviously if you're trying to render to another uh, shape like a cube or something you might need to use that. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, UV unwrap it. So lastly, we need to make sure that the image from the camera is actually rendered onto the plane. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to call the uh, render to texture script every single frame. So right now I have an always sensor with true level triggering set to on. It's going to be called every frame. And now the plane needs two properties. They're both going to be strings, so you can set the type to string. The first property name is material. And that's whatever material we gave to the plane, so you can see it's called screen, so I'm going to write screen there. Uh, the second property is called um, cam, and this is whatever the camera's name is. So my camera's name is security cam. So we'll type security cam. And remember, it's case sensitive. These two variable names are found in the uh, render to texture script. So if you want to change the names, you'll have to change them in the script as well. All right, so one application of this whole render to texture business is making gun scopes. So the way you would do that is you'd have your gun, and you would stick a camera right where the the, the um, end of the scope is. So this camera here renders to a little plane that is inside the scope there. And it's this white piece that you can see on the, uh, the viewport here. So right now in this particular scene the player sees from this camera and you could set which camera the player sees um, if you go into the scene properties up here it's right here this little camera Thing. So, because you don't want the player to see through this one, that would kind of defeat the purpose. So, uh, this camera, ha the one that's at the end of the scope, 
if you go into the camera data, it has a large focal length, and that makes it um, be narrower and appear magnified. So all it is is this camera here is um, rendering onto this little plane, and the finished product looks like this. So you can see it's it's uh, a very natural looking scope in that only the part inside the actual scope is magnified. Other things you could do with this would be like, you know, I said security cam earlier, you know, you, you put a camera at one part of a hallway, put the plane that it renders to on a totally different part of the map. So I hope you enjoyed that, um, hope it was useful. Let me know if you have any questions.